Hi everyone, welcome to my Autodesk screencast. My name is Zan Ta and I work for Repro Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I'm an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencast, please search for VAR 2015, that's VAR 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be taking a look at a line-based family and how that functions for use inside a Revit project. Here I am in Revit 2016. I have a line-based family called a fence family, and it looks like this. The way it functions is when you're in a project, we can load it into the project. And we can start using it by clicking and dragging. When you do this, you can see that it builds the family. And the longer that I make that line, the more it builds the object. So how does this work? Let's go back to the family itself. If I go to the floor plan view, you'll notice that you have a reference plane here and here, and one here that comes uh, as a default. You have a length. That's also a default as well. And the way this family is built is it's actually a series of arrays of nested families. You have this particular family here that has been arrayed in a sequence of uh, three, one for the end, each end, and one for the middle. You have uh, this array as well of this family of pickets as well. And when you select the object that's being arrayed, you can see that there is a, an, an integer value where it says quantity of pickets is 2. Here you have quantity of posts, which is also 2. If we go to the family types window, we can see that we have set up specific parameters to make this happen. We have quantity of posts, which is going to equal to the total length divided by the maximum post spacing. The quantity of pickets is also going to be equal to the length divided by the maximum picket group spacing. The post and picket spacing is going to equal to the length divided by the quantity of the posts. The maximum post spacing, we're we are specifying it as 6 feet. The maximum picket group spacing, we are specifying as 6 feet and the length is set to 12 feet. Now, for the construction grouping, there is an additional parameter that says the number of posts and pickets, which right now says three. It's generating that number, as you can see here, one, two, three, from a formula where it states that if the length is greater than six feet, then use the quantity of posts value here plus one. Otherwise, use the quantity of posts, this value here. And that's how it's all set up. And once you've created it this way, you can load it into your project and use it. Uh, this is a useful family, line-based, uh, to use for repetitive um, three-dimensional objects. Think of it as being very similar to the uh, repeating detail component for brick, where instead of it being 2D based, it's actually 3D based. And that's it. That's how you work with creating a line based family in Revit and a Revit project. Thanks for watching my screencast, and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.